Hey guys, what's up? So it's Mark from my Mark Stack, and today I'm about to save your guys' life. Well, no, not me, but uh, a YouTube user by the name of Russell Bell. Uh, I'll leave his uh, channel link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, but yeah, he commented on my video that I said uh, the, 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 that the MacBook does not get anywhere close to um, 10 hours of battery life at all. Like, far from it. We're talking about maybe four hours tops. Uh, that's just me personally. I don't know. Um, but he said that uh, there's a problem with the actual discrete graphics card on the MacBook, the new um, AMD chipset. At first, I didn't really know how that could be possible because because the computer automatically, you know, decides which one to use um, at what time. So I thought that, okay, if, if, if it was possible, it's most likely just a software issue. But apparently that the MacBook, it's 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 both. It's it's a it's a it's a chipset issue and it's a software issue. So the MacBook doesn't know when to stop feeding the higher performance uh, graphics card power. It doesn't know when to stop. And uh, see, Apple's weird. The, they they made it option to where you can only use the high power chipset all the time, or you can have it switch between the low power chipset and the high power chipset. They didn't make an option to only use. The low power chipset. So to fix this problem, guys, it's very simple. It's it's. I mean, oh my God! It takes you no more than two minutes to do, and it will save you a long battery. Okay, I'm talking about really long. I'm talking about compared from three percent left to fifty-four percent left. Yeah, that's how much battery it saves. Right now, I would have been at three percent battery life, but it's at fifty-four. So this does work. I'm surprised. So thanks, Russell Bell. So what you guys want to do is go on Google and download a program called uh, GFX Card Status. Uh, I will leave a link in the description, don't worry. Um, so you download that app. Now what it does is it puts a little icon in the menu bar of your MacBook. And there you can switch between integrated, discrete, or automatic switching. So that gives you one more option that the normal MacBook uh, program does not. So as you guys can see there, um, it's the version 2.3. And as you can see, it says that it's using the Intel Graphics uh, 530. 30, and it's using the integrated, not discrete. So do not pick discrete, only use integrated. So, uh, okay, so that's good. Everything works. Battery is, I'm pretty sure it will last as close to 10 hours of, of actual usage than before. Um, so the only downside to this is that well, there really is none. There actually is no downside. You just have to remember to switch it back to uh, dynamic switching or switch it to discrete mode whenever you're editing videos or, or you know, just high performance stuff like that. I've tried streaming a 4K video using the integrated graphics and it is more than okay. So that's good. But I don't know about editing a 4K video. I haven't had the chance uh, or the opportunity to do so on the integrated one. So I don't know. But um, all I know is that is if you're going to be doing some you know heavy editing in Final Cut Pro or, Do or Adobe, you definitely want to use Discrete. So um, try this out, guys. If it helps, please like this video. Please share this video to your friends. It will help this channel grow. And that right now is my main goal. So uh, hopefully this works. Um, if it doesn't, you can cuss me out in the comments. I will more than gladly uh, read it and I'll even heart your comment. So have a good one.